Hey guys, so I filmed my foundation routine for you. Yep, I did everything. Foundation, concealer, bronzer, highlight, all that shit. So, I hope you like it. I'm gonna try to post more videos soon. I just need to, like, get better, like, ideas and, like, more comfortable on the camera. But I hope you guys like this video, and yeah, bye! Okay, so I already put on my moisturizer, and then I spray... I can't do this on any <laughs> Okay, good. shut up! Bitch. So, the foundation I use is Too Faced Born This Way, and this one's too dark for me. It's in the shade Porcelain. So I mix it with the LA Girl in white. Let's do it. Let's take it out. So I do like a full pump of Too Faced. And then go light with this because even though this is a drugstore, this is so full coverage. You don't need a lot at all. <laughs> I only do like one, two, three little dots like that. Okay, and then I just mix it with me finger out. Okay. So now I'm just gonna boop, boop. I start with like the lower part of my face. Cause that's where most like my problem area is. And I use the Morphe M439. This brush is great. Um, cause it gets it done so quickly and it just blends it really flawlessly. I used to not even use a brush, but then I was like, this is great. And also it kind of like shears out any foundation that's like too much, you know? Even though this is like the perfect coverage for me. And I am so- oh my god, my battery's flashing again. If this dies, I've always loved you. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my brows look crazy because I just like don't care. Like I'm just so lazy, like I don't even try when I do them anymore. And that looks pretty good. So now I do my forehead. And sometimes if, like, my skin's, like, really bad, I'll go over some spots with, like, another coat or another layer. So I'm going to do that, like, a little bit around my nose. Not too much, though, because I'm going with concealer and stuff, so. Like, I might go, like, over here, because that's where I have, like, a lot of acne scars. And I have that problem where, like, foundation just does not stick to my nose. So now we can do concealer. Okay, I have two concealers that I use all the time, but lately it's just been the LA Girl Pro Conceal one in the shade Natural. And only because, I don't know, like I used to crazy highlight a lot under my eyes with like the Maybelline one, but it just looked like, let me zoom y'all out, I don't like a little bit far in, but it just looked like way too light especially like with my setting powder and all that so I just like this one because it's like my actual skin tone and it's kind of just like like not too much lightness you know so I'm gonna use this under my eyes and you know oh <laughs> you pay attention okay and I don't go I don't go right under my eyes so it doesn't crease as bad I go like right 
Why am I explaining when I can just show you? But yeah, I do it like boop, boop, boop. And I always start with a little bit because this is like nice coverage, so. And then I just use my ring finger and blend it out. And this foundation routine is great because I literally use like two brushes. No, three. Four, maybe. <laughs> I'm doing the whole thing. I'm doing blush, bronzer, uh, the whole shebang. And I bring that up my cheek. Can you guys like even see me? See, it's not like crazy highlight, but it just kind of like wakes me up a bit, you know? I totally just put a hair in my eye. And I like seeing my finger much like better than a sponge because it, like, it doesn't pick up any product and it really like melts into the skin, you know? Why use a sponge when you got a ring finger? Okay, I'm going to do a little bit on my nose. Nothing crazy. Upper lip, my chin. Do a bit up here. That's about it. Well, on my nose. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, this brush from e.l.f. is like literally the exact same thing. The only difference I'd say is that this one's just smaller. This one gets done and like, boop, 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 you're done. This one you take a little bit longer to like blend out, but if you don't want to like order something online, this is great. It's the um, Ultimate Blending Brush from Oh my god, there's so many hairs on me. Okay, I use Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 130. This actually, I had this and I didn't even like know how good it was. It's great. But this one's great too because it's like just kind of makes everything look really smooth. So I use this to set my under eye and I use the Morphe M438. I used to use loose powder but I'm just like, it's just too much. And like in photos, it looked really crazy. And this just like looks really smooth. Like this photograph's really nice. Like no flashback, none of that. And I put with this brush everywhere that like I put the concealer. Even though I use this all over my face, I just like to do this. face I use this I use this Sonia Kashuk brush I don't know if you can still get this anymore it was you know from Target but it's so nice it's just like a little chubby like brush but yeah is this
I want to start filming videos more often, but I just am lazy. But as long as you guys feel like watching them, like I can upload, it's fine. It's just like sitting down, filming. I feel like my makeup just doesn't look as good when I film it as when I'm just sitting here messing around, you know? But whatever, right? And I've like really loaded up on my cheeks because like bronzer always looks patchy so this when there's like a nice smooth powder the bronzer on top can really blend you know All right. so now I would do like my eyes and shit so I'm gonna go off camera and do that and then come back for the rest so okay, I'm back so now I'm gonna do my bronzer, I use Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, it's the best. And oh my god, it smells so good. It comes in the shade Light. I think they have a medium one as well. And then I use the Wet Wild, um, you know, blush brush, whatever. And then I just do that lightly in my cheeks to like give some color back to my face, you know? I don't contour anything because I'm like, I mean sometimes I do, but this is the everyday type foundation, you know. Okay. Now blush, I use e.l.f.'s Candid Coral. This, e.l.f. makes my favorite blushes. Like this is so pretty. It's like... Just like iridescent -y and it's a terrible swatch. But it just is so pretty and I love these kinds of blushes like peachy, like you know, iridescent. I just said like ten times. I just say brush. And I just smile. I used to not even fuck with blush, like I never even wore blush, but bitch. Ever since I started. <coughs> wear a blush like it just you look so cute and it really does like bring life to your face like I look like I'm dead without it you know and then for the tip of my nose I use the Becca shimmering skin lip skin perfector and this one's in moonstone look how cute it is it's a little baby and yeah I just use this sometimes I use it on my cheeks but I don't really do highlight on my cheeks because I don't really like the way it looks on me but yeah I just do boop 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 and sometimes I do a little right there and then for like a subtle very very subtle highlight this is a Catrice highlighter and well yeah it's a highlighter it's in the color champagne I love this stuff so much it's so beautiful it like I think this is like an actual dupe for the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder. Like that's really what this is. It's a very glow from within type. It's not like a, you know, champagne pop type highlight, you know. And then this is actually an eyeshadow brush, but I just use this. Tip my nose. Because it doesn't look too crazy with the, um... If I was to use, like, uh, an actual highlight on top of that liquid one, it would just be, like, too crazy, so. I'm gonna just put it, like, right there. So when I smile, I look like I'm youthful. Mmm, cubit's bow. throw on a lipstick okay so that's it that's my full foundation routine bye